Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get G-Thumb working. So, to start off, you're going to need to uninstall Shotwell or uh, GNOME Photos, and that's covered in the article in the description. But once you've done that, you can install G-Thumb. So, on Ubuntu, I would do sudo apt install G-Thumb. I'm going to spell that word right. Gthumb shouldn't take too long to install. It's just a little bit of, you know, some stuff here and there. Once it gets installed, though, we can deal with using it. All right, so now Gthumb is installed. So now we need to set it as the default in GNOME. So do that, type in default applications. You can open that up right there. Now, you can go here and just set it to gthumb, and that's about it. Now, whenever you open up an image file, you can use it, and you don't have to set it as default. If you just want to use it as your, you know, your default photo manager, you can, but you can also use it as your default image viewer, and that's what I showed you guys how to do. But uh, you can just open up any image file, and, uh, you know. So, if you want to open up any photo, if you can right-click on it, you can see open with gthumb, and then you you get it open, and then you can manipulate it, you can manage it, change the colors, and all of that. So that is how you set up Gthumb on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.